Hey friends, hope we're doing well. In this video, we're going to explore the difference between a Power BI report and a Power BI dashboard. Because most often, people use those terms interchangeably and think that they use a Power BI dashboard, but most often they actually use a report. And there is a difference between those two terms. And what this is? Well, let's find out. Now, first and foremost, I already opened Power BI desktop in here, and you can see this is a so-called Power BI report. This is what we create inside Power BI desktop. So, and this is completely interactive, meaning if I filter the data for US, I can see now there's the US data, or if I go for, uh, for instance, a specific year, if I click on 2022, I can see the data for 2022 and so on. So also, for instance, this icon here, it also gives us a few additional informations if we want to have that. So this is a so-called Power BI report. And this is, as I said, what we create inside the Power BI desktop. Now, of course, later on, we want to share this report with our end users, and that means that we publish the report by clicking on the publish option here, and then we basically upload it to the Power BI service. So I let me jump to the service, I go on here, and you can see here I have one specific report, which looks like that. And this report inside the Power BI service was uploaded from Power BI desktop, and this is also still completely interactive, meaning if I click somewhere, I can see that the data filters. So that's what we all know and love about Power BI. Now, what you can also see is if you hover over one of the visuals, for instance, this one here, I have a little pin icon here. So I can pin this visual. And this is where we actually get started with Power BI dashboards. Because the first difference is a Power BI dashboard can only be created inside the Power BI service, so not inside the Power BI desktop. And by, for instance, clicking on this pin visual here, this option, I can see that uh, I can pin this to a so-called dashboard. Now, I can either use an existing dashboard or I can pin this to a new dashboard. So let me select new dashboard here, give it a name, and this is, for instance, um, a Power BI dashboard, right? Like that. Now, I can pin this, click on pin, and then I can go to the dashboard, which is now newly created. I go there and I can see that this is my, in this case, uh, specific um, visual from my Power BI report. Now, you can see here clearly uh, right now, because the font was in white, I can see the background. So let me go to edit here, uh, just briefly go to dashboard theme, and then just use maybe a custom one. And let's choose the background color and set it maybe to uh, dark. And let me go over here and also choose uh, the dark in here. So you can see clearly now we can see here the specific visual inside, right? So let me click on save for now. And you can see that now I have here my visual pinned to the dashboard. So far, so good. So let's do that for a second one as well. So so let me go to another report, which is completely different, which is this one here. And now I would like to also pin this specific visual from this report to my dashboard. So if I go to the pin icon here, pin this visual, then I go to, in this case, existing, that's fine. I choose, in this case, my Power BI dashboard, and I want to use the destination theme. So click on pin, like that. And then I also go to the dashboard. So you can see here, now I have two specific visuals pinned to the dashboard. Of course, you can adjust the color later on, but that's not the main point here. The point is we have now two specific visuals coming from two different reports, which are pinned to the same dashboard, meaning they do not share the underlying data. They have nothing in common. They are really completely different. And what does this mean? Well, of course, this means that those visuals cannot really interact like in a Power BI report, right? If I click something, then I want to filter my other visuals. This will not work on a dashboard because as I said, those two visuals come from different reports with different data sets. So what actually happens inside the dashboard is if you click somewhere in the dashboard, for instance, if I click on this specific icon, um, it doesn't matter which of the colors I choose or which of the ship modes in this case, click somewhere on this specific visual. And what happens is that you jump inside the report from which the visual comes from. So this is what a Power BI dashboard is. It's more or less an, a summary page where we have, let me just refresh this for now, a summary page in here where you have specific individual visuals coming from different reports. You can put them together. And then of course, if you want to learn more, just click on a specific visual, for instance, this one here, and then you jump to the report from which the visual comes from. And this report itself, then on the other hand, is of course completely interactive. So if I go to the report, for instance, this one here, as you can see, if I click here, the data gets filtered, right? Which does not happen in the dashboard. So this is the main difference between a report and a dashboard. So a Power BI report, that's what we built inside Power BI Desktop. A report can have many report pages. They are interactive because they normally share the same data source. And this is what most people use on a daily basis. 
A dashboard, on the other hand, a dashboard is uh, nothing more than a combination of individual visuals from different reports. It gives us a kind of executive summary if you want. And if you click on one of the results, then what happens is you do not filter the dashboard. Instead, you jump to the report from which the individual visual is coming from. So hopefully that clears the difference between those two things. And now you know that when colleagues of you most often talk about dashboards, what they probably mean is a Power BI report. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you understood what the difference is. And if you like it, feel free to share it and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Take care and see you in the next video.